And I got more use of this space by ordering these little pull-outs that have, basically have drawers in them, but you can take them out. You can put your makeup on, It's just totally different and it's just so beautiful. It's this, not a huge bathroom, but it feels so much bigger than it did before. And so much more use of space. And, and I just really like, like the way that you can do a smaller master bathroom and make it feel very luxurious. Mm -hmm. I like the accents. I really love the tile work that was done. Yep, we were able to um, use Palmer Todd tile. Yep, and look at the shimmer in the tile. I mean, even the, our awesome client, she even said, she was like, Lindley from Palmer Todd is my favorite person. And we just love the um, attention that Palmer Todd gives our clients. And it's just, it's such a good fit. <clears throat> and this project came to life because of this. The tile, the accent in the tile on the shower is then matched in a little tiny version on the, on the backsplash, backsplash mm -hmm. which just ties in with all the fixtures and it completes the whole shower and the, well, the whole master bathroom just looks like a real suite now. Very, very tasteful. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, it's not too much on that backsplash. It's just the right amount. And we use the space really well. So you can't tell, but there are three closets in this bathroom, which right. is really, really awesome. There's a linen closet in here and then a his closet and then a hers closet. And these were custom closets. So we had our custom cabinet maker, Mike Rocha, and he made all of the accent wood pieces, but then also this custom cabinet, which is just stunning. And then it's the same in her closet too. Just so beautiful and such a good use of space. And I'd say his and hers closets are marriage savers. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't have to worry about anyone encroaching on your space and you know exactly where things go. And then there's also a really awesome detail which our cabinet designer Bonnie created or found a great creative solution. So they needed maximum space but they also, the drawers wasn't going to be a good fit in this space. So instead of having drawers, centered drawers, they got more use of this space by ordering these little pull-outs that have basically have drawers in them but you can take them out you can put your makeup on okay now you need to access this level they slide out trays and it's perfect i'd say it's and the clients think so too it's better than having their drawers because it's so much more organized what an organization mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there's this project had some really, really unique details that we wanted to do just a one-off little video. So that way we could show all of our, um, this was a, just a really unique like a feature features. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the stop. Oh, the tile, the tile floor. tile floor and the shower floor. Oh, and doesn't that just look like a spa? Mm -hmm. that, that tile always reminds me of the pebbles of a spa. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it recessed, um, Vanity mirrors. And you know one of the things, yeah, the vanities, these mm -hmm. just look like mirrors, mm -hmm. but they're actually, of course, a vanity, like a recessed vanity. Mm -hmm. And they look just like framed mirrors. Oh yeah. I love that look. I didn't even notice until the client pointed it out to us, yeah. which is really nice. And one thing we don't do a lot is have a wood grain against a wood, but because of the lack of graining in this wood. Mm -hmm. It worked out nice even though the tones complement each other 
it was not over it was not conflicting it was not busy which we don't usually see with a wood porcelain uh, wood look porcelain but it looks beautiful and with the lighter tile that they chose everywhere else it really does stand apart and really not does. conflict mm -hmm. yep so we're really proud of this Norfolk's crossing the, bathroom the, the tile work and the tile selections are exceptional mm -hmm. real real attention to detail all of the edges of the tile now this tile comes with a with a finished color on it already so the, look look at the the tightness of the of the joint so it's technically this isn't a bullnose and it's not a shooter it has a different edge huh yeah it, it is a bullnose tile oh, okay this is technically it is a bullnose, bullnose tile but it you know it just you have to run these real carefully now, i love it Because a lot of times with bullnose, to me, you see a hump. Right. And this doesn't have a hump. You do this not is have a it. beautiful edge. And that's just the true mark of a great tile, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm sure proud of it. There's a ton too. of detail in too. what we and packed into it. Since they're my neighbors, I'm really glad they're proud of it, too. <laughs> <laughs>